Intrusion detection and prevention is an important task that is required to protect today's networks. In this demonstration, we'll configure intrusion detection and prevention using Snort on a PFSense security appliance. There are several products available that can do both intrusion detection and intrusion prevention. Some cost money and some are free. One of the most popular products is Snort. Snort is a free, open source network intrusion detection system, or IDS, and intrusion prevention system, or IPS. Although Snort is open source and free, it does have some paid plans that you can subscribe to and receive updates to rules faster. In this demo, we'll configure Snort on our PFSense security appliance. Before we configure Snort, let's quickly look at the website. As we scroll down, you see that you can manually download Snort for various operating systems and distributions. Snort is available for Fedora, CentOS, FreeBSD, and Windows. In the second step, you must get what is called an OINC code. We'll do that in a minute, but let's keep scrolling down this page. Step three is to get updates. We'll cover that later in the demo. Now, as a review what we just talked about, Snort is an open source intrusion prevention system capable of real-time traffic analysis and packet logging. Snort is the most widely deployed IPS in the world. There have been over 5 million downloads and over 600,000 registered users. To use Snort, you must first get an OINC code. We'll go to our account. There's a link that says OINC code. We already have a code generated, so we can proceed. We'll use the OINC code later. Now let's go to PFSense and install Snort. We've already logged into PFSense and we're on the dashboard. Installing Snort on PFSense is quite easy. It is done with the package manager that is located under the system tab. Once on the package manager page, you click available packages. Now let's do a search for Snort. We have one result, so we'll come down and click the install link. Now you can make sure you have the right package. We do, so let's click confirm to start the installation. Now we wait for a few minutes while Snort is installed. When it does, the color changes from red to green, and it says that the installation successfully completed. Down here on the bottom, a message says success. Now that Snort is installed, we need to set it up. Let's do that by going to Services and then down to Snort. Be aware that this menu item for Snort was not there until we installed it. If you don't have this menu, Snort probably is not installed. We'll start by going to Global Settings. Under Snort Subscriber Rules, we check the Enable Snort VRT box. VRT is an acronym for Vulnerability Research Team. Below that, next to the Snort OINC master code, we paste in the code. Remember, we got the OINC code from the Snort website that we were at in the beginning of the demo. We copied the code to the clipboard and we use a keyboard shortcut to paste it in here. Next, we enable Snort GPL v2. The community Snort rules fall under the GNU, General Public License version 2, which encourages the development and distribution of open source software. This rule set is 30 days behind the Snort subscriber rule set. It does not contain zero-day threats under the limited provision of the Snort Subscriber Rule Set license. Now, let's check Enable ET Open. ET is the acronym for Emerging Threats. This downloads the Emerging Threats Open Rules. The ET Open Rule Set is an anti-malware IDS IPS rule set that enables users with cost constraints to enhance their existing network-based malware detection. We do not pay for the Emerging Threat Pro rules, so we won't check that box. Let's skip down here under Sourcefire Open App ID Detectors. Let's check the Enable Open App ID box. Below that, check the box next to Enable Rules Open App ID. Open App ID is an application focused detection language and processing module for Snort. When you use Open App ID with PFSense, the system can successfully detect, if configured to do so, and block over 2,600 different services like Facebook, Netflix, Twitter, and Reddit. For our rules update settings, we set the update interval to one day. For update time, we set it to 2 a.m. Let's check the Hide Deprecated Rules Categories box. This removes old and outdated rules. Under General Settings, remove Blocked Hosts Interval. We change that to one hour. Now you might think that we should block hosts forever if they are malicious. But the problem is that often these are coming from spoofed IP addresses or from addresses that may be used by legitimate users very soon. So we will block only for one hour. We'll check the box for startup, shutdown logging. 
we want to know who and when Snore is being started and stopped by. That wraps up everything for this page, we'll click Save. Now that we have the rules figured out, we need to assign these rules to the WAN interface. We'll go to the Snore Interfaces tab, and come down here to the right and click the Add Link. Under General Settings, we want to make sure that Enable Interface is checked. We see that it is. Make sure you have WAN selected under Interface. This is the traffic we want to inspect. For Description, WAN or WAN. We want to keep it obvious and simple here. Under Alert Settings, we check the box to send alerts to System Log. This will send alerts to the Firewall Log. We check the Block Offenders box. If an offender creates a Snore alert, they will be blocked. For the IP to block, we block the source IP address. There's nothing more we want to do here. We'll come down here and click Save. Now, we want to check the box to enable the WAN interface. Under Snort Status, click Start Snort. That's it for this demo. In this demo, we configured intrusion detection and prevention using Snort on our PFSense security appliance.